Good day everyone! Our topic for today is about the renewal of TESDA NC2 or the COC renewal. So before we will start, I will give you some link for the TESDA training guidelines in case you will be needing this one. And the TESDA website. Okay, so you can visit those um, link for those who want to check the training guidelines and the TESDA updates. Okay, so now TESDA renewal requirements. So this is Sergino. I hope it can help you when it comes to renewing your uh, NC2. Okay, so we have first is the Certificate of Employment related to your NC2 qualification. So, for example, um, you are working in the field of front office or in the bread or pastry, then you need to secure it coming from your HR, the Certificate of Employment, stating how the length of years uh, in the service. So, you will be needing that one when you renew your NC2. And then, three copies of your passport size, picture with white background and a collar. Okay? Then, you need also to bring your old TESDA certificate, your NC2, uh, the one that will be expired in five years. Okay? And um, a renewal fee. Okay? So, I'll be giving you one of the example of the TESDA National Certificate. Uh, this one is for the bread and pastry. So, um, if you notice, you will be having the content there, the basic, common, and core competency of the qualification, which is the bread and pastry. Then, it will be, there will be also a certificate number there, okay, given by the TESDA office. And then, the issued when you renew your nc2 and the valid until what a year okay so that is one of the example if you already renew your test the nc2 so here i'll be giving you some details from the left side the white side color so that is the basic common and core competency coming from the tr or the training guidelines of bread and pastry so the other side from the right so that is the uh, coming from the certification of uh qualifications that you that you were able to renew so if you check there is no migration migrated or there is no update coming from that TR so meaning you are still capable to renew your NC2 for that qualification but if you can see there is an update from the TR so you need also to update your skills and take for the another uh, migrated NC2 okay so I hope uh, it can help you Okay, on how you are going to renew your NC2 qualification. Still, you need to base it from the training guidelines if there is an update or a migrated uh, for that uh, skills of qualification. Okay, so that would be all for today. Thank you and have a great day.